live from Austin, Texas, where the remaining wonders of the world are about to finally get what's coming to them. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. I am... Pyramids are done for. Oh, yeah. I've filled Alex. I've pumped him full of anti-pyramid propaganda Mm -hmm. preparing for today's stream. We're finally going to take down those bastard pyramids that have been taunting us for decades, centuries, millennia even. No one else is brave enough to do it but the Retro Pals. Mm -hmm. And you're welcome. You are welcome. Welcome to the show. This is the third week of Versus Month here on the Retro Pals Patreon. I figured it was time to shake things up a little bit. The uh, last two weeks have been a little bit too straight-laced, a little bit too normal. We started out with ColecoVision versus Intellivision, then we hit Gamecom versus Neo Geo Pocket Color, and I decided, you know what, that's that's too normal. That's what normal people play. Mm-hmm. Let's get real weird. So this week on Patreon, I asked our patrons, choose one, pyramids or girls? Specifically, uh, 3DO games about pyramids versus CDI games about girls. People picked Pyramids, as I expected. Mm -hmm. I do want Girls Club to make a comeback. Uh, I recently (laughs) acquired a copy of that game after searching on eBay for two years. One finally showed up, and I finally got it. And someday we're going to play that, because I finally went through the trouble of tracking it down. But I can't can't fault y'all for voting for Pyramids. 3DO games about Pyramids. How can you resist? Can anyone resist the call of the pyramid? As it turns out, this is a very, very crowded genre on 3DO. There are many games about exploring and also destroying pyramids on the Panasonic 3DO. Uh, Thanks to everyone who voted. Uh, I'm trusting you on this. We got to go weird. We got to go with 3DO pyramids. So here's how the show is going to go. The first half, we're going to let the pyramids do the talking. We're going to explore them, see what's inside them. And if we don't see anything we like in the second half of the show, we're going to blow them up. Just blow them right to hell where they belong. That sounds a little mean, but uh, you know what? I think that's fair. Also, thank you to the Ultimo who just uh, subscribed. And thank you to BMF who resubscribed 14 months in a row. And they say, pyramids! Yep. So, yeah. Those pyramids are going down. Why is this such a crowded genre on 3DO? Honestly, that's kind of why I hope to stream this tonight. I hope to find out why pyramids were such a hot topic in the mid-90s, specifically blowing them up. That's, uh, (laughs) they seem like kind of an an innocuous thing, unless you believe in mummy curses or something, but... Well, that's how you get ultra mummy curses! You blow up the pyramids! I figure if we blow them up, that frees everyone who's been cursed from mummies. Like, they come back to life, uh, the streets run with the undead... Oh, yeah, you're right. This isn't going to be Yeah, it's a bad, bad, bad Well, we better get started. Uh, Folks, we got a real special game to kick things off with. This is a game by System Satcom. Yes! The people who made Mansion of Hidden Souls, its sequel, and also Lunacy for the Saturn, as well as Gabal Screen, Runner's High for the PS1, and probably a whole bunch of other games we'll play in the future. But for now, this is Seal of the Pharaoh, which somehow got a US release, which... I... Well, I'll let you I'll let you see the gameplay to to see why I find that surprising. But one thing you should know about this game is that there's no one on YouTube has recorded more than 5 minutes of gameplay of this game. You'll soon see why, but I hope to play more of it and uh hopefully uncover the mysteries of the pyramid. So, we're uh <laughs> your goal is to play more than 5 minutes of the game. Right. Okay. Yeah. That seems fair. I think we can do this. This game's got a really good intro. Complete with voice acting. Welcome back to the world of 3DO. If you've never seen this system before, uh, the basic premise is first there was video, then there was audio, and now that it's the 21st century, we have 3DO. You know, it took them long enough. Yeah. So is this like another dimension, or...? Oh, Ask Kodansha, uh-oh. Ask Kodansha in cooperation with System SATCOM. In cooperation, I love that. Yep. Like... The game doesn't waste any time. Pharaoh calls me. In the pyramid, all mysteries will be solved. (laughs) 
those textures. Let's tell the astonishing story carved on a lithograph, unearthed from an ancient pyramid. The pyramid appeared suddenly from the ground, turning the land around it to desert and freeing evil spirits. Long ago, your father, wishing to solve its mystery, forced his way into the pyramid alone and never returned. You must fight the evil spirits to find him. And there you go. That's the whole intro, and it leads directly into the game. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, it was kind of hard to hear him at the last part there, but apparently our father disappeared exploring this pyramid, and we got to go in and find him. Didn't they say the pyramid created the deserts? I thought it was the other way around, but uh, now we know better. Mm -hmm. We're discovering all the secrets of the pyramid. Oh, it's looping around. we got to play this game. So I told Alex to cue up a music track for this game because for some reason this game doesn't have any background music. So let's listen to Prime very quietly as we play this. Yeah, let's get into the exploring pyramids move mood with Prime. This is so odd. Yeah. This is a game I'd never played before since last night. Oh, there's oh it does have music. Never mind. Turn off Prime. Goodbye, Prime. I guess it was just very quiet when I was playing last night. So, this is a first-person dungeon crawler that, cr that controls exactly like Mansion of Hidden Souls. So, System Satcom were the right people to contract for this game. You go forward, you move back, you turn side to side, and it's all driven through pre-rendered video. Much like Mansion of Hidden Souls. Okay, okay. Also, you can turn off the music uh, with the C button, apparently. Oh, that's why I had no music. Yeah. Okay. So this is Mansion of Hidden Souls with random battles. Okay. I'm kind of into it. Splat. I love him. Oh my god. Blorp. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Mansion of Hidden Souls with turn-based battles. <laughs> what, what the hell? So you can uh, either have a full screen unfettered presentation or you can push L and R to give yourself a HUD. I think for clarity's sake we're going to give ourselves a HUD because otherwise this game is very difficult to tell what's going on. Now the biggest drawback of this game that I could tell is there's no auto map so Alex memorize everywhere we are and make sure we don't get lost. Uh, so chat says it's Mansion of Hidden Slime, uh -huh. and uh, they should call this shit Megami Tensei, so we're off for this start. <laughs> hey, this is an RPG without any numbers. We're doing random battles. Uh, you, you can see the enemy life meter in the upper right. But otherwise, there's no stats. This is all just, uh, it's all diegetic. That's how you use that word, right? You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say that is. The first diegetic video game. That probably means something completely different from what I think. The first dietetic. Yeah, the first game. Dianetics video game. <laughs> he just doesn't close enough. No, I'm not going to go down that route. Um, <laughs> see, chat says, Kilik, the pyramid imperative. Yeah, this is a little Kilikish. Now, from, from what I found out about this game playing it last night, you have an inventory. You can use a whole bunch of different items. You can equip different swords, though I never found more than one. Hopefully we will. You have potions to replenish your health. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, uh, memorize that. Thanks. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> now the best part about this game is that those fights you get into, once you kill the enemy, they're gone forever. So the fights are predetermined, they're always in the same place every time. So you're not going to get bogged down with random encounters. It just seems like it at first. Man, I'm glad it has music. It's just the same like loop. It's like a 10 second loop. I this hate game, it. This game was really boring without it, though. I have to admit, that's why no one ever bothered playing more than five minutes. Also, gotta say it, this does not match Mansion of Hidden Souls' complexity. This is a very simple game. I am not surprised. I mean, I don't see any butterflies, do you? No. Well, maybe we have to get to the bottom of the pyramid and find out our dad has been turned into a butterfly. Oh no, your dad is... is dealing with trauma. This appears to be some kind of Haniwa figure. I... That Haniwa figure... You know what? It's fine. 
It doesn't look weird at all. Yeah, it's fine. It's like something you'd find in a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Now, we did go down this way, and we didn't find that enemy before, but I think the enemies only appear if you're, like, looking in a certain direction, so that's why that happened. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Am I nuts? If I turn right here, I should see an open hallway, right? But when I push right... Hmm. Did the honey one make me dizzy or something? Maybe. I'm still figuring this game out. Uh, yeah. If anyone wants to look up the instruction book, that might actually be helpful. Actually, it's on archive.org. <laughs> okay. I like when the jelly plasters itself to the screen. <laughs> Okay. And by now, you should probably know why nobody has ever bothered recording more than five minutes of this game. It's very simple, very basic, and honestly, if you're not totally into this stuff, it may be kind of boring. But we know better. Okay, here we go. Oh, give me a kiss. What the? Don't! Okay. Kiss that ancient Haniwa figure. Alright, so you press B to activate your inventory, and you press right shift to get your status indicator. Okay. And you can master your move. Okay. Press and hold up on the directional pad to continually go forward. By pressing only once, you move one step at a time. If you press left or right, you will turn 90 degrees in that direction. By pressing right or left again, you'll be facing back at the turns and the dungeons. Press the direction pad in the direction of where you want to go. You cannot walk backwards. Okay. That That's... is all one sentence. There are no periods there, by the way. Oh, they explain the all the all the gameplay in one sentence. That's mm -hmm. a good sign. <clears throat> Not all items are for fighting monsters. It says you can throw items during combat. Okay. Um... So far, the biggest mystery is why there's no attacking animation. It just shows your sword icon going into the enemy. Like, look at this, Kingsfield. This is not. <laughs> I do like the way that they just kind of sink into the ground there. Yeah, and there's some nice splorchy sound effects. Oh, I gotta do more damage to these Haniwa figures. Would you like me to read you the uh, actual info, the prologue from the... Uh... Sure, why not? We're okay. gonna be here for a while. Alright, so this is from the uh, Seal of the Pharaoh uh, manual, which you can actually find on archive.org. Let me link it to y'all there. Go check that out. Yeah, solve the mysteries of the Pharaoh with us. So, chat says... Not chat, you're not, you're, you're, you're not the manual here. Chat has a manual, but I also have the manual. And the manual says, The Pharaoh is calling me. It was my father who appeared in my dreams. The Pharaoh is calling me. Your father leaves you with these mysterious words in the diary and disappears into the pyramid. Written in the diary were legends of the cursed Pharaoh Gracious three. The mm. evil gods are buried and the evil spirit shall never rise again. But what are the secrets of the pyramid? Meanwhile, there was disaster in the land. The sun was covered by dark clouds and the trees were drained of all li all life. Evil from the underworld escaped to plague all mankind. Has someone broken into the pyramid and disturbed the eternal peace of the Pharaoh? My where, God. Where is your father gone? What can be done to stop the evil? This is where your adventure begins. Okay, that thing, I could not hit it, so I'm just gonna go leave it alone. You gonna leave? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you can just turn tail and run. Yeah, That's let me, nice. uh, the Pharaoh's name is Horatius. So let me just put that in there. It's not, it's not Horatius, unfortunately. Okay, the monster's different now. We can actually kill it. Oh, thank you to Goaty for the raid. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I forgot. I thought I had the right background for raids, but it's got the old background. Sorry. Ah, uh, whatever. Thank but you. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. This is a stream about 3DO games that are about pyramids. <laughs> We're going to be looking at a lot of pyramids. This is a game from System Sacom, the people who made the Mansion of Hidden Souls and Lunacy games. Should probably use an item. Oh, that's an attack item. Whoop. There he goes. <laughs> so the the spawns are set, but apparently the enemies you can encounter are different every time. That's pretty interesting. Did you just walk away from the bee? Yeah, apparently you can just, like, look away. Just you like, don't have to fight at all. 
You're hiding a, you're, 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 uh, you're blocking out the haters by just walking away. Mm -hmm. You're like, listen, I have good conflict resolution skills. If I'm in a pyramid and I see a massive bee trying to kill me, I will just take a deep breath, count to ten, and oh, walk backwards. Oh, this might be a close one. We might not survive this. Uh -oh. Yep. The thing killed us. Did you get slimed to death? Oh, yeah. Cool. No! 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 <laughs> now I am the mummy! That kicks ass, though! <laughs> uh, good thing we saved our game. Yeah, I'm having a different experience than when I played this game the first time last night. I think it just gives you different enemy spawns. Some things are different, because I'm having a lot more trouble regarding health. And again, no auto map makes this much more difficult. Can I just ignore this guy? Oh no, some of these you do have to fight. I heard it trying to relo reload, uh, reload, uh, load the guy again after he tried to walk away. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. No, you gotta fight this guy. Smack. Okay, so what you're fighting is, according to the manual, a pyramid slime, who is an offensive substance which attacks with their body. I am offended. The, uh, let's see. So some monsters aren't actually monsters. They are, they are the inhabitants of the pyramid who have great knowledge of the pyramid. Listen well to their advice, but remember, you are an intruder in their realm. We're a pyramid intruder? Yes. Wow. How ironic. Mm -hmm. We're going to play that game very soon. Uh, there's apparently a character named Scorpion, who uh, is a gold-loving, greedy creature who knows much about the pyramid, who we will encounter. Uh, what about Sub-Zero? Uh, it does not say about them, but it says we will encounter the snake, who may have been the former mistress of the pharaoh. Ooh. That snake got it on. <laughs> Find out what the deal is. Oh, that guy! That's a friend! Okay. I am with you. I will open the door. That's Flamey. Is, is that his name? Yes! That's literally his name? He's the spirit of your father who gives advice. Did the manual just spoil a major plot point? Yes! <laughs> well, that's our dad. Flamey, aka Pyramid Dad. He's out to give us help. His name is Flamey. Okay, he opened up a door somewhere else in the pyramid, so we have to go find it. But we got a health potion for our troubles, so that... This fucking music. That made it worth it. Yeah, this music's great. This is... You're a... I really wish we were listening to Prime instead, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? We need, we, we're all here for the authentic experience. Yeah, you gotta preserve the pyramid experience. Flamey is Clippy's cousin. Thank you, Dog IRL. <laughs> Whoa, cool grasshopper. Uh... Or smack it. Yeah, you should fight that guy. That's uh, Lucas Pocus, an evil insect. It which, fell apart. Let's see. Which eats up all green something. It's kind of hard to read. Beware their vicious attacks. Okay. That's actually an urn used in mummification uh, rituals. I see. So it's not a pyramid slime. Mm -mm. I've yet to kill one of these. They keep running away. They're like the metal slimes of this game's world. I hate them. I'm gonna get a shit ton of experience when I finally kill one. There it goes. Your dad's named Flamey, honey. I, I can't <laughs> get over that. Yeah, exactly, Cool Coyote. The only system SACOM would name the spirit of your dead father, Flamey. Flamey? Okay, we got a couple of health potions. Pretty good shape here. Flamey. Flamey. I'm just saying, the game would have been enhanced with an animation of an arm, like, swinging a sword. Just rip it straight from Kingsfield. Wasn't this, like, before Kingsfield? Oh, you're right, it was. This was slightly before. So Kingsfield ripped this off, then. Yeah. Oh, I can't fight this guy right now. Yeah, uh, exactly. We're throwing breadsticks. Actually, I think we're throwing just, like, sticks that we found. Pyramid sticks. Or they could, or we could have a, like, you know, the Hospitaliano all-you-can-eat breadsticks going on. We're, 
We're intruding on this pyramid in the name of Hospitaliano. <laughs> Goaty's just rolling his eyes right now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Speedy Bree resubscribes. Uh, they didn't subscribe nine months in a row. Thank you. Uh, the mess they say. Sup, pals? The first video game magazine I ever got had a walkthrough of Seal of the Pharaoh. Oh, nice. Glad I finally can see it in action almost 15 years later. Wow. 25 that is, years later. That's a very now. specific guide. Also, thank you. God, their salads are salty. Thank you. Why does Olive Garden have the saltiest fucking salads? Sorry, I... You shouldn't order the salt salad. Well, I thought it would be fine. And then you eat it, and then you're just like, <laughs> I'm desiccated. <laughs> They're trying to mummify you. That's the actual secret of the pyramid. Mm. Is that the Olive Garden is so salty. We're piecing together <laughs> conspiracy here. Mm -hmm. They get to the bottom, and it turns out our dad is the founder of Olive Garden. He says it the... Oh! <laughs> you got... It has a cannon butt. Why didn't people give this game a chance? Why can't you play more than five minutes of this game? I just did. And I'm normal. You're very normal. Okay, we're doing more damage to the Haniwas now. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're trying to mummify you. Uh, because they're like, you know how Hobby Lobby got all those ancient art, like artifacts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like Olive Garden has Ugh. like an Olive Garden pyramid. It's actually part of the the, the Bass Pro Shops pyramid, and uh, that they're trying to get everybody pre mummified. So pre, pre mummification. Mm -hmm. So eventually, the they can uh, bury you at the ba the Bass Pro Shop pyramid. Well, now we all know what lies inside the pyramid. Uh, thank you, Dog IRL. Uh, they resubbed with a Twitch Prime six months in a row. Thank you. Nice, thanks. And yeah, the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid is real. Uh, it's here in town, right? Not, not in this town, but it is. It is in. Okay, I'm looking up where it is. I'm actually checking my phone for this. Yeah, go know. and make a pilgrimage to the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. Oh, we finished the first level. Look. Oh my God. Going downstairs. So you've officially done better than all the other uh, run-throughs you've seen of this mm -hmm. game. This is officially the best run of the game you're going to find on the internet. Mm -hmm. Don't look that up, by the way. Also, thank you, Teeter. Uh, they subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Nice, thanks. Okay, let's find... Oh, we're killing the slimes in one hit now. Oh, shop, Illuminati, Pyramid... I don't know. I just think people need better conspiracy theories. All the ones now suck. They're all really bad. I'm sorry. Get better ones. Yeah. Go back to pyramids. Mm -hmm. Pyramids. Pyramids and evil corporate conspiracies. And bugs that shoot cannonballs out of their butt. It's in Memphis, Tennessee. The, okay. The Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. So if anyone wants to take a road trip to Memphis, I'm in. The limited inventory is kind of worrying. I wonder if you can get through this whole game without running out of health potions. What is this? Look at the map. If you use this where the colored pillar is, the spell will be broken. I want another look at that. Look at the map. If you use this where the colored pillar is, the spell will be broken. Blue, pink, yellow, black. That doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but I'm sure it will in a minute. Okay, so the pyramid, which is just called the Memphis Pyramid, used to be a, uh, a, <laughs> an arena uh -huh. that they turned into, uh, the county <laughs> sold it to Bass Pro Shops, which is really funny to me, I'm sorry. Bass Pro Shops, an offshoot of Cabela's Hunting Gear Emporium. Are they really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my god. They're the same company. Can we go to, like, the big Cabela's again sometime? Oh, we're rich. We can take that money to Cabela's! Yeah, let's go to Cabela's. What's the Pyramid of Mega Church? I thought it was just a sports arena. Hold on. I totally want to go to a mega church in an arena. I mean, in a pyramid. Let's see. The pyramid was... Oh, we're damaging this guy now. We're getting buff here inside the pyramid. Well, singer Mary J. Blige performed at the pyramid in September 1997. Good for her. Ah, another one of these. 
Well, if it was used as a church, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything about it in the Wikipedia article. And as you know, if it's not in the Wikipedia article, it's not true. So. Yeah, it's now a non-denominational pyramid. Okay, so here's the uh, Bass Pro Shops actually bought Cabela's in 2017. So. Wow, it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. That's a friend. Don't kill them. Okay. It's another pharaoh. I could find the evil god and summon your father when I could hold him no more. You are my last hope. Win the four demons' jewels. <laughs> Bye. I like that it waved. That was... That was the former pharaoh, who, uh, he is the one who called your father to seal the evil. Aw, oh, damn him. Oh, I'm, I don't want to listen to this again. But he's so wobbly. You impudent fool! Oh, no! You actually can attack him! I didn't know that! Did he just walk away? Yeah, he called me an impudent fool and then he ran away. Oh, that's... well, that's probably good. Just going around angering ancient gods. Sounds good. It's fine. That's cool that it lets you do that. I wonder if that affects uh, stuff later in the game. Is there some kind of morality meter? For, for beating up your... It's a system SACOM game. I wouldn't put it past him. Where's the virtue meter a la Spelunker 2? I... I guess... I guess the Pharaoh and your dad are dating, because the Pharaoh did call your dad, but I mean... Again, I don't understand how this all... what ha this has to do with the Olive Garden, personally, but... <laughs> Just making one of those ancient Egyptian booty calls. Oh, I guess. Ooh, Glob Scorpion. Okay, no! Hey, that hurts! That's a greedy friend. Give him some gold. Oops. I should have listened to Alex. Yeah. Give me some money! <laughs> <laughs> That's me! That's me! That's there you go. Me. Let you go through. Uh, a few minutes ago I was going to say we should probably turn off and move on, but after that, oh man. Oh yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't. Uh, thank you to Uzi, uh, 20 month uh, sub streak, thank you. They say, give me some money! <laughs> Thanks for giving us some money, much appreciated. Yeah. So there's no experience meter, you just seem to be getting a little bit stronger just by judging how much damage you're doing to the monsters. Because on the first floor, there was an insect I couldn't even touch. This one. And now if I try to hit him, it actually does a shit ton of damage. I'd say this is a very minimalist dungeon crawler. This is an attempt to deconstruct the genre. If you want to be fancy about it. <laughs> Otherwise, you could just say this is a very simplistic game, which you would also be correct. So, Snoozy Stuff mentions that XP doesn't exist in this game. Your power level is the pink bar under the blue bars, and it goes up when you beat bosses. Oh, okay. There's bosses? Uh, Dog IRL through 25 bits at us, saying, SOME MONEY! <laughs> Thanks for the money. Hey, a stick. That looks like a duck. A little goose stick. Oh, can't use it here. Should I? I should replenish my health. There we go. Hope we don't run into any more enemies, though. Oh, hey, uh, the manual has maps. Oh, it does! It has complete maps. I wish I would have seen that, sorry. That's nice, actually. Even says where the secret doors are. Cool. Okay, well, if you're gonna play this game, get an original copy and buy it complete. Because, much like Fahrenheit for Sega CD, it has maps that you need. Or just download the, the manual. Or get the copy. PDF, I guess, yeah. I'd like to get a copy of this game. Uh, complete copies are like 50 bucks. Which, for a system SATCOM game, not too bad. Who's this? Is this a friend? I I closed the manual. I shouldn't have. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, that, that friend is... Wow, that friend does a lot of damage. Yeah, it sure does. I think this friend's going to kill you. Oh my god. Do I have to? Okay, it's one of those optional fights. 
Jeez. Is that the famous Anubis I've heard so much about? That... Yeah, if, if Anubis sucks, sorry Anubis, <laughs> you could do better. If Anubis was a dog made out of balloons. Hell, everything in this game looks like it's made out of balloons. <laughs> That's kind of the 3DO's aesthetic. Chat's begging you. Well, some fo some people in chat have been begging you to turn off the music, but no, not yet. We're almost done here. Are we? Yeah. I think I don't think we'll get much further than this floor. It looks like there's light puzzle solving, which is like, oh no, which is poison for us. Should have given the dog something nice. Oh, can I give it the stick? It threw its tail at me. There you go. Oh no! And your face is dead. Yep. Anubis ripped my face off, and now I am the mummy. Sorry folks, we met our end inside the pyramid. Just like I always thought, thought it would be. I knew that one day I would die, and I would die inside a pyramid. At last the prophecy has come true. But luckily, we're not done with pyramids. We still got some more pyramids to explore, or dare I say, intrude upon. Our next game is Pyramid Intruder. And let me tell you, this is the last chance for those pyramids to show us, to really impress us, mm -hmm. to really justify their existence. If this sucks, you're going down, pyramids. Before we wipe them off the map. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this is a game we played briefly during a 3DO request stream a few months back, but this time around I think we'll get a little bit further. I practiced this earlier, so it should be just fine. This is a Taito game. It's actually was released for the Laser Active as Pyramid Patrol, and it was almost a completely different game. It just used the exact same backgrounds as this version. This game, they made it more into a third-person shooter, whereas Pyramid Patrol, I think, was more like just Starblade, just like first-person. And there's a Taito logo, as it appears on the 3DO. Very rare. <laughs> the rare Taito 3DO logo. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is indeed a laser-active title, ported over. 2035 AD. A huge and mysterious pyramid was discovered on Mars. It was built by aliens to be their headquarters for a massive invasion of the Let's Earth. speak up. We read the plot a special task force. The Stiglot Delta Platoon was ordered to seek out and destroy the pyramid. Did you get all that? Pyramid on Mars. Aliens built it. We gotta destroy it. But we're not going to destroy it, we're going to go inside and see what's in there. Why would you put a pyramid on Mars, and what would be in there? 1995, so right around the launch of the PlayStation, here on 3DO, they were making pyramid games. This was only released in Japan, as far as I know. Even though it's all in English. We could have used the US release, but I guess by 95 that wasn't going to happen. They were tired of pyramids by then. Oh yeah, the pyramid craze had died down completely. Everyone's like, ugh, pyramids, how passe. Alright, pyramids, show us your secrets, and we better like what we see. Ooh, I want some takeout. That ship's got a lot of cool stickers on it. It's like <laughs> one of those suitcases that's been all over the world. I, I, it needs, like, supreme, some supreme stickers. <laughs> it needs a sticker that says, I break for monster booty. <laughs> I get the impression this game had a little bit of a bigger budget than the last game. You don't say. Yeah, just a bit. I wonder if the 3DO's noises are coming through the microphone. This is an actual 3DO we're using. Oh, this is so FMV. I'm in love. Oh, yeah. I'm in love. So what they did here is, in the original version, you didn't have this ship. It was just first person and you guided like a reticle. 
for this version, for whatever reason, they changed it to be more like Microcosm or Nova Storm, which are games that look like this. You control a little ship, and you shoot enemies on top of the video, and that's pretty much it. Uh, yes, we have uh, played this before, Bobinator. We're, mm -hmm. uh, we're we showed just... this off briefly. I, I didn't get past the second level. I hope to get past there this time around. We're just taking a, uh, you know, closer look at the pyramid. Yeah, and we'd be fools not to show off this game during an all-pyramid stream. Mm -hmm. Fools, I say. I must say, for a shooter, these sound effects are especially annoying. Yeah. They kind of drown out the music, and they're not even good. It's all like, gronk. Yeah, the, the noise when you hit an enemy is a classic gronk. Uh, Chess talk about other uh, FMV shooters, uh, Astron Bell, Cube Quest. Oh yeah, there's a few of them. This is a long-standing tradition, as far as laser disc games go. So, so what's in the? Are we gonna be able to get inside the pyramid, or is it mm -hmm. connected? Okay. Just you wait. Okay, I want to go inside. We gotta fight off the pyramid uh, guardians. Now, for a lot of these, you can tell that it's pre-rendered, and some of the bosses you have to deal damage to, while others you just have to survive until the video clip ends. And I think this is the latter. What? Huh? Roll back the tape. What happened? I think you crashed. How? Well, that pyramid heard you talking shit. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna waste to continue. Let's start over. Wow, instant death. I had a full life meter. Oh, our poor little pyramid intruder. You will intrude no more. That's a cool game over screen. Yeah. Sheesh, dying in level one. Let's do this again. You got it this time. Intrude operation number two. Second attempt. You shall not intrude. <laughs> I'm gonna intrude. What do you think's a cooler name? Pyramid Patrol or Pyramid Intruder? Pyramid Intruder's a little bit clunkier, but in a way that's like... I don't know, Pyramid Patrol just sounds like a really cool 90s, like, Mummies Alive, like, knockoff. And Pyramid Intruder sounds like... Uh, it sounds like a bootleg Sachin game. Kinda. I like Pyramid Intruder because it makes it sound more like a uh, road prosecutor. Those two games go, go together quite well with those names. Let's see, Pyramid Intruder, Intruder is cooler. People prefer Intruder. I agree. Because it's an action, right? You're not just patrolling the pyramid. You're intruding upon it and destroying all that's within. These pyramids have no chance. These pyramids are dead motherfuckers. As soon as we get in, mark my words. As soon as we get in, it's it's over for the CEOs of the Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to feed us that salty salad. Unlimited breadsticks my ass. You kicked me out after 10 p.m. What's unlimited about that? You think you could go in just before coffee and, like, just eat breadsticks all day? Yeah. They're like, sir, it's closing time. I'm like, I haven't had enough breadsticks. Do you think you could... Do you think you could do, like, you know, like, a college student and, like, bring out your laptop and... Just, you know, hang out like it's like a Starbucks or something at Olive Garden and do your I homework. You, I bet you could. They'd <laughs> like, probably uh, let you get away with that. I just want, I want, I want the new, instead of coffee shops, I want the new hangout, the new, like, gentrifier thing to be, like, chain restaurants. Like Italian all the chain restaurants. Yes, yeah, so they're all going to, uh, Papa Murphy's, uh, Take and Bake. They're going to, uh, uh Olive Garden. Um, stay up here this time. Buca de Beppo is going to be the big... What killed me? <laughs> what killed me? Pyramids! <laughs> okay. No, we gotta, we gotta get in the pyramid mindset. What, what killed me? I was on the upper part of the screen. 
Someone in chat, uh, Cool Coyote, they did try to get the free, uh, you have to order at least a salad to get the free breadsticks. You can't just sit there and eat them. Oh, okay. They have rules. Cool Coyote has apparently tried. This is a polite society. You have to have rules about that. I appreciate your trying, though. And now we all know that uh, Olive Garden is trying to rip us off. Alright, so according to uh, Abby here in chat, there was a version of Pyramid Patrol for uh, Taito's Super D3 BOS machine, which is one of those crazy sit and full motion games that they had for like theme parks and stuff. Mm. That's interesting, I'm gonna see what that looks like. Yeah, the company who made this game made oh, a few yeah. made a few ride-styled Laserdisc games, where it was just more like an experience than an actual game. Man, I saw those around as a kid, and I never got to go into one, and now I'm just furious. Yep, you'll never get the chance. Ugh, my 90s nostalgia is coming back as 90s anger. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing Mean People Suck fucking uh, t-shirts and shit. I wear my Mean People Suck shirt while I invade pyramids, mm -hmm. intrude upon them. Do I have to deal a certain amount of damage to these bosses, maybe? That's my current theater uh, theory. Good. I think if you don't deal enough damage, you just explode at the end of this level. I checked the manual, but it's in Japanese. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm doing a lot of damage this time. You're doing good. You're doing good. Just, just really love that grinding noise when you shoot an enemy. It's very it's pleasant on the ears. Alright, here we go. This is the part where I die. Okay, don't die, don't die. Okay, I think that's actually it. You have to do a certain amount of damage to the boss, otherwise you die. So We're doing it! We're intruding! I'm going right inside that pyramid. Thank god. Well, we figured out a major mystery of the pyramids. You gotta do enough damage to the boss before mm -hmm. you're allowed inside. Keep that in mind next time you're about to intrude a pyramid. Now the next level is actually a 3DO exclusive because it has polygonal backgrounds and you can actually interact with it a little bit. Oh wow. As far as I know, this is a unique inclusion for the 3DO version. Pyramid 2. <laughs> a great game. Now this level is where we stopped last time we played, because I couldn't figure out how to kill the boss. But this time I have a better idea, I think. Alright, Danny's goal, kill a boss. Mm -hmm. And ideally I want to get a laser power up in here too. Yeah, so you're given junctions and you have to push left or right depending on which direction you want to go to. Alright, I got some lasers. Yeah, this actually is 3D. That's interesting. Mm hmm They put effort into this port, aside from just renaming it. They tried to change it into a completely different game, and... It is to some extent, I suppose. Alright, we got those double lasers. We're gonna be good to go for the next part. Also, if you're lost in a pyramid, remember the mantra, always take left turns. Okay. I will remember that. Same thing if you get lost in an olive garden, actually. Yeah, always take left turns. Mm -hmm. Now we know why. Alright, shield's looking good. Though, we know by now the shield means nothing, because if the game wants you dead, you will die. Lost in an Ikea. Ikea yeah. is basically a modern pyramid. Oh my god, this pyramid is fancy! Mm-hmm. Much like an all- okay, okay, I'm seeing All right, we're gonna it. get to this, the end of this and then look for one of those uh, Billy bookshelves. They still make those? We're gonna find out. <laughs> These are really good for video game collectors. The N icons are your normal shot, the L's are a laser, and every time you pick up the same one in a row, you get a power-up. I don't want that N. I do want that L, though. Oh, look at this laser now. Oh, it's cool. Triple shot. 
I was at the Netscape Navigator end. Uh, that's what I thought too. Okay, it wasn't just me. Yeah, I was playing this earlier and I was like, that's Netscape. Oh no! Kutekin's Billy Bookshelf literally broke under the weight of all their video game magazines. Oh no! Oh, those shelves are so good too. Do you have any of those? Yeah, I got one out in the, uh, the living room. That's where oh. all my 360 games are. Oh, that one! Okay, okay. It's a good large shelf for many large games. The large shelf. Alright, here's our boss. Now, I do have a bomb, and if you use a bomb at the right time, it does do massive damage. So, let's try and do that. This boss, I know for sure, is one of the ones where you have to do a certain amount of damage before it'll die. Oh, that did a nice bunch of damage. Did nice. you hear that? Yes. Sounded like a broken garage door opening. It died. We did it. I'm proud of you, Danny. Uh, I don't recommend going to an Ikea because it feels like you're dying every time you do. I don't know Yeah, and especially don't go with others, especially no. if they're loved ones. I think I think it was actually 30 Rock that had an episode about how IKEA is the ultimate relationship test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cuz every time you leave you just feel weirdly angry. It's like they like it's like they pump anger gas into the store or something. You know what? I think it's when you like I have I have had one or two positive IKEA experiences, but for the most part yeah, that's actually why we're still married, is because we've never been to IKEA and I don't think we're ever going. Yeah. Yeah, I got all my furniture right before you moved in. Mhm. Mm so what lies deeper in the pyramid than what we saw last time? More walls! Alright, I like the walls. Something all pyramids should have. Mm -hmm. I think the reason everyone gets mad at Ikea is because it's bigger, it, it, it's such a maze and you're so disoriented and it's so much bigger than you think. And by the time you get to the end, you're just like, I want it to be over, and... It's the kind of thing where you don't want it to be an ordeal, but it always turns out to be one. No matter what you think. Because the place is so big, it's so hard to find everything. Even if you know where to go, you got like miles to walk in between aisles. Mm -hmm. BBH, the fact that you survived Ikea with your, your significant other, that is a great sign. That's amazing. That's a good, yeah. that's a good relationship right there. A person you can uh, survive a trip to Ikea with is a person you can intrude on pyramids with. Mm -hmm. uh, Shaq says, last time I went to an Ikea, I ended up carrying your friend's angry two-year-old because she thought he'd be cool riding in the cart, and he was not. <laughs> uh... Oh, don't, don't, don't make kids suffer through Ikea. That's All right. terrible. So, uh, to all the Ikea fans in chat, in chat, I just want to say uh, we support you, and I, we, I am glad that someone out there can enjoy going through Ikea. It's, it's as if you get, I don't know what it is. Something, it just, it just makes... Maybe you gotta eat the meatballs there. You gotta inoculate yourself. You know, last time I went, I actually had a good time. And I did eat meatballs, and I went with a friend who I'm still friends with, so... I think it that explains... You have to eat the meatballs and the lango berries first. So check this shit out. This is what inside is inside all pyramids. Oh my god. We never knew until now. Those crystals look cool as hell. Yeah. Those ancient Egyptians, they were all into that crystal shit. Oh god, there aren't any uh, Ikeas there in Brazil? Uh, well, congrats. Consider yourself lucky. It is convenient, but it's a, it's a harrowing experience. So I kind of like this game. I think this is alright in terms of uh, behind-the-back shooters that are also FMV. No, this is this is really cool. And it's pyramid themed, so come on. So, yeah. It's my fourth laser. The pyramid walls are moving. See, the people who made the 3DO, they knew there was something up with pyramids. That's why there's so many 3DO pyramid games. So have you been impressed by uh, what you've seen when you've intruded here? I like this. This is a pretty impressive setup they got here. I gotta admit, it's better than I could do on an Ikea budget. I, I do like the, uh, the, the crystals. Mm -hmm. I like the... Uh, 
the, the, the cool colors and the orbs and the uh, There's a lot of crystals. orbs. Yeah. A lot of crystals. Mostly crystals. Got him. I, yeah. like I think the secret to these bosses is doing a lot of damage in a short amount of time, otherwise you just explode. What else do you like? FM Town's party just said IKEA is the closest thing to a final boss that retail has. There's even a midway <laughs> checkpoint. I'm <laughs> I'm pissed because That's so true. <laughs> I don't want to be talking about IKEA, but it's all I can think about right now. It's the closest modern equivalent to a pyramid we got. Now, if, like, if they made a bunch of Ikea games for 3DO, we'd have to play those. I want to play Ikea Intruder. You know, I think I think an Ikea-based adventure game would be very interesting. It would be the longest adventure game you've ever played. Just for getting something like a shelf. Or a, a chair. Here's level four. We're still in the pyramid. Yes, uh, the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid could is big enough to house an Ikea. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. If that ever became an Ikea, I, I shudder to think. Let's just all work together to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's, let's, who do we have to petition? Ramses. <laughs> no, 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 we gotta petition Gordon Ramsay for some Oh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay. He's the modern uh, reincarnation of Ramses. He kind of is. Have you seen the his new show where he wears awful disguises and like goes to people's restaurants and tries to change it within like 24 hours? No. Yeah, he, he goes into people's restaurants disguised in the worst outfit you've ever seen. And then he's all like, hey, it was bloody mean. I'm here to fix your restaurant. Get the end out. And then they make he makes him go to a <laughs> giant van that has a big uh, oversized screen on it that shows how shitty their restaurant is. He makes him sleep in a van? No, he makes him go to a hotel, I think. Oh, or, okay. But he makes him, like, he makes the restaurant owners leave the, leave the restaurant and go to this giant van where it's, like, showing off, like, how shitty their restaurant is on a giant screen on the side. Wow. It's called 24 Hours to Hell. It sounds like hell. Restaurant Intruder, yes. Restaurant Intruder. <laughs> This could be a whole series. Pyramid Intruder, Restaurant Intruder. Fursuiting at... So, okay, so apparently some folks said did a fursuited thing at the Bass Pro Shops, and it, there's videos of it on YouTube. So. Cool. <laughs> hey, anything that keeps the pyramid from becoming an Ikea, I'm all for it. So this isn't much of an issue in this game, but like a lot of other games like Microcosm and Nova Storm, it does have obstacles that pop up and you do have to avoid them. They're just on the background video and you have to pay attention to where they are. That's kind of been a thing dating back to the earliest arcade Laserdisc games, like uh, Us vs. Them definitely had a sequence like that. If you haven't seen Us vs. Them, go to uh, BBH's YouTube channel, I'm sure he has an archive. That's a game we have to play someday. Still don't know what anything is that we're shooting, but it needs to be shot. I don't know if we're going to... Man, okay, I do want to see the fake uh, games if they have at Ikea. Hold on. Oh, thank you, BBH, for linking me. It's worth a watch, definitely check it out. The pimps, really? Call uh, Grandma's Auto Grandma's Auto, thanks. Huh. That's a pretty cool idea. Oh, I didn't mention this, but you have multiple types of bombs that you can use during boss fights. You can swap between them with a button. And you definitely want to save them for boss fights, because they do so much damage. I wish this music was louder instead of just juk 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 because there's some really nice guitar riffs. Yeah, it'd be nice to listen to. But all you hear is, like, crunch. <laughs> One of the fake IKEA games is Grand Theft Alex, so... Cool, you gotta get that. Oh, I do.
You gotta steal yeah. it. You think they'd arrest you for stealing a fake game from Ikea? You know what? Should we put this to the test? Don't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I my my. I need my record spotless. <laughs> the retro pals commit a crime live on Twitch. <laughs> I was watching. There are some prank videos on like TikTok where they just literally go up to somebody. And then just like put on a ski mask and go like, give me your purse, and then just take people's purses. What? That's that's not a prank. <laughs> that's just a crime. Yeah. It's... What the hell is with the youth today? Damn millennials. <laughs> Danny. Millennials are disrupting crime. No, it's not. It's not crime. It's just a prank, dude. Danny, these are not millennials. They're Gen Z. They're like, we're the millennials. It's us. Stupid criminal millennials. <laughs> Anyway, I'm playing a pirated 3DO game for the internet. <laughs> like a normal God-fearing American. So you get some control over whether you go left or right, but sometimes the game just stops you and turns you around if you go a direction it doesn't want you to. Not quite sure what the point of that is. True, BBH, we could do that. We're gonna If, if we took the thing from uh, Ikea, uh -huh. we could also turn it into a uh, clickbait video called Pranks Gone Wrong! Stole Fake Video Game? The Pimps from Ikea! Mm. Uh, but we do need to put emotional, gone wrong, real, not clickbait yeah, at the end. You'd have, to, you'd have to step up your thumbnail game for that one. That's a good idea, though. That's content we can get multiple uses out of. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if anyone wants to bail us out, uh... Let us know. Yeah, please put all your bids towards our uh, bail fund. Uh, let's see. Uzi identifies as a criminal. Criminal. Same, honestly. Good. We're all criminals. Before I mention other really bad clickbait videos on YouTube. <laughs> no, we're just gonna make clickbait videos about IKEA and pyramids. Okay, cuz it's fine. Ooh, look at this area. Look at all them big dog men. No wait, those are birds. There's a dog man. Some are birds, some are dogs. And they're all shooting me with lasers. Oh my god, they're all shooting me. Alright, thank you, Dr. Omni, who donated a hundred bits to our bail fund. Thank you. We'll be out of jail in no time. Yeah, we're gonna be one of, we're gonna be the apology streamers soon enough, Hektara. We're just going to That's uh, how you make the money. The big money's in apologies these days. But the problem is you have to do something first that you have to apologize for. Whoa! Good lord! Pyramid's falling apart. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> wow, we busted through. This game's cool. This game looks really interesting. I like this a lot better now that I can beat level two. So you're like, maybe we shouldn't hurt pyramids. Maybe we shouldn't blow them up. Maybe we should let them be. I don't know. This this game shows that there's many dangerous things inside pyramids. We clearly can't leave them standing. That's a lot of good damage against that guy. You know, Google is making a big mistake picking up, not picking us over like the other YouTubers for their new platform because. Mm hmm. Who else? I would have gone upstage and rambled about pyramids in IKEA for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then everybody would want to try uh, Stevia or whatever your, that is. Uh, I think it's um, Stadium Events. Stevia. Mm -hmm. Google Stevia. Hey, it beat that guy. Okay, this is now the officially the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. We have to keep going. I guess we do, like... I know, I know we're late for intermission, but this is worth it. Well... I have to see what's at the bottom of this pyramid. Oh, God. Yeah, Salvia, that's what it is. <laughs> Sativa. Imagine playing 3DO games, but with 100 frames of lag. That's the future. Wait, is this the last level? It looked like the uh, the tip of the pyramid. Well, we'll see. 
Ooh, okay, let's do it. Let's crush this pyramid. Otherwise, sorry to say, not much else to say about this game. What you see is what you get. And if this looks fun, why not check it out? I don't know if there is a world record for Pyramid Intruder, actually. I guess we're about to set one. They're throwing rib cages at us now. Rib cages, Netscape Navigator, you fucked. Dude. Yeah. It's like the 90s are flying right in my face. And I have to get all these Oscar statues for some reason. <laughs> You've got Oscar fever, baby! Mm -hmm. Maybe all you need to do is just rip the Red Book audio and then, like, amplify it. Would that fix the sound balancing issue? God, maybe. That's what they've done for some uh, Turbo Duo games. I don't think there's as much, as much of a demand for this, though. Alright, someone open up the submission page for Twin Galaxies. Uh, we got a score of 8 Oscars and 140,000 points. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that, that, that surely deserves a reward, right? Yeah. Like... Not since Forrest Gump has won a uh, movie won so many Oscars. <laughs> Did you see the news today about the Forrest Gump sequel? No! no! What the fuck?! It was cancelled because of 9-11. <laughs> That news came out literally, literally two hours before the stream, so I'm not surprised you didn't hear about it. <laughs> but yeah, go look that up. It's a, it's a trip. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god! <laughs> the oh Forrest Gump god. sequel. The Forrest Gump sequel would have had a sequence where he was hiding in the back of O.J. Simpson's Bronco. You're lying! <laughs> no fucking way! No. Yeah, it was like a, it was like Forrest Gump, but for uh, '90s nostalgia, apparently. <laughs> It sounds horrible. Wow! And now that I've cursed everyone with that knowledge, I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you may deserve it, though. I do, for sure. I am... Sorry, I am everyone. I sorry, uh... Sorry you had to find out this way. Yeah, ham oligarchy that you have to find out through us. This is not looking good. <laughs> FM Town's party, you're right. The Forrest Gump just turned into like an Ernest style series. <laughs> I do like the idea of Forrest Gump re representing multiple decades throughout history. Forrest I should take him back to dinosaur times. <laughs> Could have been a whole series, but then 9 11 had to happen. Okay. That's just. Oh my god! I'm barely surviving here. I just... Jeez. Oh my god. It's too big! This is too much pyramid! Shoot those fruit clusters at me. I don't even know what those are. Shit. Well, that's the end of my pyramid intrusion. Wow, I made it pretty far. So, not bad. Not bad. But if there's one thing we've seen in these last two games, uh, pyramids are dangerous. They hold all kinds of really deadly enemies inside, so I'm pretty sure we gotta destroy them. I'm gonna gear up, I'm gonna go to the Bass Pro Shops, I'm gonna buy some equipment, and in the second half of tonight's show, we're gonna destroy some pyramids. You should not have told me that cursed knowledge, because now all I can think of is Forrest Gump. Yeah, that's gonna be all you can think no, about no. now. No, Forrest Gump with Ba Diddy Ba behind it! Oh my god. <laughs> that's easy, that's right! Well, He's meanwhile, in Afghanistan. meanwhile, uh, as you watch this intermission, Alex and I are going to plan uh, the next three Forrest Gump sequels. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we have a collection of 3DO stuff, including our first rerun. 
Now, if you're a longtime viewer of the show, you may recall this very spirited speaker who was speaking in defense of the 3DO at a CES. We're going to show that again because it is amazing, and mm-hmm. we need to show that for the people who haven't seen it. It's. I had, it, we also didn't include the second part of that when we last showed it, so I've included part one and two. I've edited it down a bit to take out some of the more boring parts. And I've also got two commercials for uh, the 3DO as well. Yeah, so enjoy that, and we'll see you all in about ten minutes to destroy all pyramids. See you then. And we're back, and by now I'm sure you're already looking on eBay trying to find a 3DO. Yeah, that guy that guy is very convincing. All 3D and much more. I love him, but I also hate him. It's it's like I'm scared of his power, but intrigued by it anyway. He could sell pretty much anything, as far as I'm concerned. Well, welcome back to the second half of our 3DO Pyramids extravaganza. We're going to get to the destruction of pyramids in just a second, but... Anytime we pull out the 3DO, we got a little tradition we like to do. We Alex? Do? Yeah. Alex, turn on the turn on the screen. Okay. I wasn't looking, so I'll see what you got. No! No, Danny! This guy, he's 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 twisted. You gotta listen to him. He's got so many jokes, so many good opinions on the on the world around us. Specifically in nineteen ninety three when this game was See, filmed. No, no, hard pass, no, hell no, Danny, don't what give the him, fuck. Give him one chance. Hell? We give him no. we give him one joke. That's the rule. You ready? Oh fuck. Here off. it is. Crazy Eddie, the electronics magnate, <laughs> begins his trial for bilking millions of dollars of investors' money. What is this guy going to play? No doubt temporary sanity. Suddenly, everything was clear. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, At least it wasn't racist. (laughs) At least I did not have to turn it off. Thank God. Well, this is it. We've hit the point where we must destroy all pyramids. Must we? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta. So, Alex, I asked you to queue up a a specific cover art for this stream. Mm Mm-hmm. Please put that on. Look at that cover. This is a real-ass 3DO game that was released in 1992 or 93 or something. Look at that cover. Blast them, smash them, trick them. You alone can destroy all pyramids. That, no, no, I'm I'm blowing that up. Yeah, yeah, so... So uh, some of you may have seen this uh, this Twitter account that posts fake Sega CD covers. They're like obviously ridiculous. If they posted this image like with a Sega CD sidebar, I'd be like uh, C plus, but that's a little bit too ridiculous. Nobody would actually put that on their cover in the '90s. The 3DO did. Th- look that ridiculous tagline. Everything about this is amazing. Why don't you Why don't you zoom in on the the back text? Oh, so you the can back get pe- text is so good. Yeah, check that out. Listen to them hype up this game. Destroy all pyramids. That's what we're all about. Pyramids. They're sneaky, evil, cunning, loathsome, and even... Ah. Pernicious. Pernicious, thank you. Look Look it it up. up. And they thrive in some pretty nasty places like lava, slime, ice, and swamps. Your mission is is simply to clear all 150 levels. We supply the plasma blaster, you supply the brains. Live or die, you'll rock while you try to destroy the four-faced menaces of Icebreaker. That's what I've been saying. It's time to take down these four-faced menaces. What are they doing up there? Just taking up space in the desert. You could blow them up and clear space for an esports arena. Make it something useful. Hey, I want to read you this part. Uh, Style and sound effects? Hear Pyramid scream! Nice! Just taunt them into a pit! CD stereo background music is way cool. No, really, change the track to your liking. You've got 18 choices. You gotta like at least one. So they're going to be screaming. (laughs) That's cool. Yeah, we got these pyramids. They walk, they talk, they scream, and they feel pain. It says addicted yet? You will be. (laughs) It's got action, destruction, strategy, animation, ice, slime, lurkers, and yes, that's right, giant clams too. So be persistent, destroy all pyramids. And feel pretty dar- damn good about it. Oh wow, they say they say the D word on the back of the box. Ooh. That's wow. It takes some giant clams to get away with that. Well, so y'all sold. Uh, I'm pretty well sold on this game. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to destroy all pyramids. We went inside them. We fought some monsters. What else are you gonna do with them? We gotta destroy all pyramids. Pyramids are done for. Let's do it. Destroy Let's all destroy pyramids. all pyramids with Dennis Miller. What does he think of pyramids? 
I don't want to know. Yeah. It's probably like, it, I don't want to know what he thinks about anything. Right that would now. require talking to him. You want to do that? No. <laughs> Hey, Dennis, uh, pretend it's 1993 and tell us your 1993 opinions on pyramids. Mm, I love getting a uh, Twitch band. This is a Panasonic production. First party produced. I'm not sure who developed it, but someone who made the pyramids, that's for sure. Uh, they got the Doom Fireball sound effect in mm -hmm. there. That's good. <laughs> yeah, temporary sanity! Ah! Magnet Interactive Studios. Never heard of them. Icebreaker. You ever look at a pyramid and think, I want to break you? I guess sometimes. Can't shoot the blue ones, you gotta collect them. You can shoot the red ones. What do you do with the green ones? You gotta oh. trick other pyramids into walking into the green ones. And that's the intro. Uh-oh, uh indeed. Uh-oh, it's a 3DO game. Citricola says, that is one Scholastic-ass logo, yeah. Totally. Now, I've been through the tutorial already, so I know how to play this game. So let's go ahead and get started. So you might think of this as a puzzle action game. It's all a bunch of single-screen levels where you have to destroy all pyramids, as they say. It starts off with a level labeled hard, so that's a good sign. Let's see, Electric Boogaloo says that this is from the makers of Beyond the Limit, uh, Ultimate Climb, and Chop Suey. Oh, it's this game! Mm-hmm. You've seen this. Yes, I have. Yeah, the blue ones, you gotta drive through them. The red ones, you can shoot. And all the time, there's all these yellow ones out to ruin your day. So the, the 3DO is a 32-bit game system, the first 32-bit game console. It can push a shit ton of polygons. It can have a good frame rate with a lot of polygons. Uh, you heard that guy during the intermission talk it up. It can do anything. Even this. Anyone want to explain this, how this game happened? I... Uh... Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sneaker says, remember those little Java applet games back in the 90s? Yeah, I'm getting that feel from this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me point out, this was a $50 retail released video game. This was not shareware. Let's see, uh, opponent says this is a Nick Arcade game, video game King calls it a tech demo. What I'm wondering is, why is the frame rate so shit? It should be 60 FPS, right? Yeah, uh... Let's see, uh, apparently Dominic White remembers playing this on the PC, so... Oh, it... this was a PC game, okay. Yeah, the green ones you gotta trick them into walking into. I guess that's where the puzzle aspect comes into play. See, BBH says 50 pyramids per second. <laughs> they do render a lot of pyramids on screen, I'll give them that. That's why the frame rate has to be so low. Got one more. Gotta trick one more into walking into it. Yeah, we are a pyramid destroying other pyramids. Mm hmm. It's quite ironic. Is that it? Okay, I'm actually gonna take a look at this, but Electric Boogaloo found a uh, old Washington Post article about magnet games. Oh, you did it. I destroyed all the pyramids. Yeah, what else, what else did they do than what we've uh, discussed already? Or did they just drop out after this game? The Eye of the Pyramid. This level has 100 pyramids. Well, That's a lot of pyramids, folks. They uh, apparently were working with 20th Century Fox, which, by the way, Rick. Yeah. Uh... So they could be owned by Disney right now. God, apparently, I guess the company went under at one point, I assume. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, they were going to team up with them to make some... Uh... Make some shit. And make some shit they did. Mm -hmm. Let me point out this game has over a hundred levels that are all exactly like this. Okay. 
God, you're right. Scarlet Swordfish mentioned that this looks like a tabletop game called Ice House, and I'm looking at Ice House, and this looks just like Ice House. Weird. That is, Coincidence? yeah. Coincidence? Hey, Ice House makers, have you ever heard of this game called Icebreaker? Have you ever heard of the movie Ice House? No. That's great, because it doesn't actually exist, and I think I confused it with a roadhouse. <laughs> I was thinking of this. Please ignore me. Oh uh, yeah, Ice House, the famous. Uh, what's his name? The pyramids have sucked the brain out of my head. Who is the star of Roadhouse? Oh, I can I Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Pyramid there you Swayze. go. Pyramid Swayze. Thank you. Pyramid Swayze. Oh God. Well, if this kind of game appeals to you, good news, this game has a lot to it. There are many levels, and they all take place in the same field size. All that differs is the arrangement of the pyramids. So if you like arranging and then destroying pyramids, this is the game for you. Weirdly enough, I would say this game has the most action of any game we've played tonight. And it's this. There is a lot of action. I'm thinking of dialing it up after this. Okay. We gotta go to a really hard level. Right, really show the pyramids what for. Just fucking destroy just, them. Just let them have it. Destroy them from the inside out. Make them reconsider their life choices. Mm -hmm. Let's really break them down. Pyramids change color during the match. That doesn't seem fair to me. That's not what actual pyramids do. All right, Frappe Fiasco has a bunch of uh, info. So that board game we showed you, it was made by the same person who made this game. Oh, really? So Frappe Fiasco says, this was designed by Andrew Looney, mostly known for the Flux card game. He also made a series of games based around plastic pyramid pieces, which this game is also based around. The only good pyramid game, in my opinion, though, is Zendo, which is amazing. He also made Ice House. Anyway, so this was an attempt to make a video game with his pyramid pieces. And fun trivia, the Mac version was ported by Andrew Plotkin, who created the deduction game Werewolf, who sold it to Andrew Looney. That's interesting, thank you. So in trying to make spin-offs of his pyramid-based games, do you think you would call that a pyramid scheme? Boo. Wow, even Alex booed me. It's impressive. You've heard the kind of jokes Alex says. No, Frappe Fiasco, no, thank you for the text up. I was glad to know that about this game. Yeah, that's good. That gives us a little bit more context as to what this is and why it exists. That's why we do this. You win! We're all getting mad at Sonny Bono for, uh, for Disney's uh, whole buying Fox stuff. So good, good. Was it his fault? Well, he did help uh, media monopoly laws and... Uh, specifically copyright law turn into something that never ends. This level's called Triangle Man. I get that reference. <laughs> Fire is cool. Good. Twelve dudes are creeping. Ah, uh, this must be Twitter the level. Okay, so... Eleven traps for eleven limeys. Oh my god. Cyanide sandwich. Here we go. That's what we want. Prepe Fiasco also mentions that Andrew, uh, let's see, that Plotkin made a great game on Mac called Sistence Twilight, and uh, he also made a hidden text adventure version of Icebreaker hidden in the Mac and PC ports. Wow. Okay, I lied about all the levels being the same size. This level is way bigger than the others. This is what you call a cyanide, cyanide sandwich right here. Oh, and there's lots more pyramids. And there's holes? All those pyramids just died. Game over, dude. <laughs> there's some good word art in this game. Uh, what other levels we got? Can we skip to the last one? I, I hope so. Let's beat this game. Spiral Death Trap. Andy's Workshop. Quick and the Dead. The Pyramids of Dr. Moreau. We did finally get to hear the pyramid scream, you're right. Computer is your friend. Well, you are dead. The level that time forgot, level 150. Let's go. All Let's right. push it to the limit. How many pyramids can we take? We need to be able to take at least 145 of them. Oh, Let's Jesus go. Jesus Christ! 
Oh wow, this is like a pyramid RPG. Uh -oh. Wait, that kills you? Yeah, watch out for the uh, the, the slime tentacles. And it says, uh oh? What mm -hmm. is this, Chip's Challenge? <laughs> Maybe that's what they were going for. A kind of simple action puzzler a la Chip's Challenge. What's with that orange pyramid? It's so big! Oh, I don't know. I don't like it. Uh oh. Oh, my pyramid went to heaven. Oh, rip. Let's give that level one more try. Okay. And then I think they have some bonus FMVs, believe it or not, so we're gonna watch those. Well... In terms of pure gameplay, this game has more of it than most other 3DO games. There's a lot of FMV stuff, a lot of kind of unconventional games, uh, pyramid exploration sims, since we saw earlier. The orange one split! Uh, thank you to Anari Fox, uh, the resub seven months in a row here. Anari Fox says, you can never be too late for pyramids. Thank you. It's true, thank you. I think, I think that's about my limit in terms of uh, amount of pyramid content I can take. So what do you think? How does this rank in terms of the other pyramid games we played today? Well, it feels more like a game. Yeah, a very simple one. It really feels like uh, one of those shareware games, right? Like you'd get on the Galaxy of Games CD. We're not going back to Dennis Miller, no. Uh, thank you to Grindstormer, resubbed uh, with Twitch Prime, sub two months in a row, and they say, Hey guys, did you hear about Konami's upcoming anniversary collection? Yes! I'm curious to hear about those. Uh, they did announce all the games in their uh, arcade collection, which was Seven Shooters and Haunted Castle. And they've announced half the games for their Castlevania and Contra collections. And guess what? Contra for NES is not going to be on there, because it never will be. There's some kind of mysterious legal holdup with that game that no one knows. I hope someday they can release NES Contra again. That's that's like a really good game. But considering they're 20 bucks each, I'm totally buying them. Because mm -hmm. I'm a sucker. You are. That's why I love you. I'm a sucker for old arcade games and also pyramids. So we got we got a fair number of movies here. Slime. Huh. Bouncers, that ain't. <laughs> That's the same punchline. <laughs> Is that all these are gonna be? Just a pyramid falling into a hole? Ooh. Hey. I didn't like the way that thing just kind of... <laughs> Yeah. Slid towards me. Yeah, I don't like it either. Uh... Oh, there's flashing ones. Also, thank you to Vagrant Wastrel for uh, resetting two months in a row. Thank you. And nice. uh, check out Slime! Just show us slime. I want to watch all these. I'm sorry. Danny! <laughs> They're like three seconds each. <laughs> Look, we came here tonight to watch pyramids meet their doom, and that's what we're going to see. Just awful geometric shapes. Possibly the worst. Your anti-pyramid agenda is going to get us in trouble one of these days. With who, the pyramids? Yeah. Do you really want the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, like, mad at you? Do you want do you want that pyramid as an enemy? What about the Limeys? That's the exact same one as the other one. It was just green. Can't shoot rocks. No, fuck rocks. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, the old concrete pyramid. I love the absolute logo for a minute. Yeah. Those are tough. You can never destroy absolute. I'm sure these contain helpful hints for the game. I'm sure that was helpful for someone. 
All right, according to Wikipedia, uh, your pyramid is known as a dude mire, while other every other pyramid is called just dude. I see. Here's the slime. Oh no, we got slimed. Well, we got slimed. How many times have we died from the first person just from watching this game? A lot. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh yeah, pyramid rave. That's a pyramid drum and bass. <laughs> pyramid party! I want more pyramid EDM, honestly. Bye! Zombies. Oh, that's so freaky! It's that a zombie is a little pyramid. Freaky. It's terrifying. I love that. I love that big boy. Oh, they turn into more. That's so great. Big boy splits. Then they eat you. Then they kill you, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's watch the ending video. Oh, you're no fun. Well, if anyone wants to beat the first 30 levels of Icebreaker and record the ending video, please feel free. Mm -hmm. uh, we have better things to do with our time. Like play Icebreaker 2. Did you know there was an Icebreaker 2? I do now. So it turns out there wasn't actually an Icebreaker 2. It was never released at retail, but... The people who originally made the game, they made a lot more levels, and they called it Icebreaker 2. And this is the prototype. Thanks, Game Guru. Yeah, in order to load Homebrew and prototypes, you have to load it up through the Game Guru, which is the 3DO's Game Genie application. <laughs> Imagine doing a Game Genie for fucking... Ah. Oh, there's an Icebreaker prototype in here, too. There's an Icebreaker screensaver. Holy Ouija shit. board? Ouija board! Okay, we got several things to check out here. I want to see the Ouija board. I want to ask it a question. This is Icebreaker 2. So what do you think they changed for the sequel? Um, the pyramids are now circles, and um, the slime is now lava. Let's play This Level Sucks. Okay. So this being a prototype, they just reuse all the assets from the original game, so don't expect anything new. 196! That's too what? many pyramids! Oh no! Oh no! Uh -oh. They make slime when you shoot them! This level does suck, dude. That does suck! Why would you make that level? So Icebreaker 2 would have been for the hardcore players, the people who couldn't get enough of the first Icebreaker. It's Just, uh, it's for, for super players. For real, like, Icebreaker heads. Andy's Workshop number 2, keep out. That sounds good to me. You think this is going to make our 3DO blow up? God, I hope so. <laughs> Garrett of Dennis Miller once and for all. <laughs> Look, he's tradition. Whenever you pull out the 3DO, you gotta play some Dennis Miller. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Only 18 pyramids in this one. Okay. <laughs> huh. Oh, they bleed! Blood! They bleed all over the place. This is cursed as fuck! Yeah, I think... I think we got the pyramid curse now. I did it! I beat the game! Holy shit, congratulations, Danny. I beat level 150! Finally, I'm the pyramid master. Let's play next level. Randomly generated? Ah, oh, fuck. This game's a roguelike? I like the idea of a pyramid roguelike. 
Arg! Yeah, this is definitely randomly generated. Oh my god, it's so fast! It wants you! It's like, it's like you're, it's... I, stop it! The pyramids have made a powerful enemy today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. <laughs> Okay, so, can we see the Ouija board? Yeah, yeah, let's let's see the other stuff on that disc. Yeah, Icebreaker 2, uh, much like the first one. I'm sure they could have finished it if they had a publisher, but by that point, they probably didn't. Game Guru. Take your 3DO games to the next level with Game Guru. Imagine being a kid with a 3DO. Sorry to all the children. I'm sorry to everyone in the audience who had a 3DO. Ouija board, huh? This is just a Ouija board. Can I can I try? Yeah, uh, hold the controller, I guess. Okay. Ask it a question. Okay, Ouija board, Ouija board, Ouija board, Ouija board. No. Wait, can I? Is it just gonna roll? Oh, I see. I have to press a button. Okay, press the button, and then it just kind of goes random. Okay, Ouija board, Ouija board. I got a question. Um. Ouija board? We stop that. Please. Please let me ask you a question. Ouija board. Hurry up and ask. How do I make money? Eh? Rep? Rep reply? Are you doing this? Re no. Reply? <sighs> Reply hazy. hazy. <laughs> F off! It's gonna spell try again later. No way, get out of here, it's bullshit. <laughs> Alex is hand off the controller. That's, that's, that's yeah, that's magic eight ball bullshit. If I wanted something like that, I'd just pull that out. Bullshit. What Ow. now? Oh. Oh. Oh, you. E. Why? I'm not touching the controller. I... Wait... What is it spelling? Is this some kind of cipher? Is this... is this... Are we... Now we're actually being cursed. Okay, oh no, cool. it's putting us under an NDA. <laughs> I do not agree to the NDA. <laughs> uh, Alex, I think we broke the Ouija board. Well, we're cursed. It just picked the I and Ouija as one of the the letters. Can it do that? I yeah. And so much. Uh, I I I think it translates to. Uh, Alex, buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I'm sure this is useful information for someone. So if someone ends up winning the lottery because of this, uh, congratulations and remember. Oe wiku nidib leila lur ha. Ha. That's what you say after watching Dennis Miller. Ah. Let's get out of here. I guess the Ouija board uh, thing looked like a pyramid. Plus, it, I mean. There was more icebreaker content on this disc, though, that I want to check out. Like the screensaver. A pyramid screensaver. Yeah, be sure to drink your oval team. <laughs> a crummy commercial. Hmm. Virtual Murphy? Holiday Murphy? What's the screensaver, though? Yeah. Kirsten's Eye? Kirsten's Eye? I don't know, dude. The pyramids hold many secrets. There they go. Hey, I actually like this as a screensaver. Yeah, this is neat. You could put this in After Dark. Mm hmm Just replace all the toasters with pyramids. Honestly, honestly, I think our lives would be much better if there were more pyramids everywhere, I've decided. I know we're blowing them all up, but I'm starting to turn around on these bad boys. Are you? A little bit, but maybe I need to see more pyramid games to figure that out. Okay, we got one more on here, and it's the Icebreaker Prototype. What did that game look like in the prototype stages before they decided they were pyramids? 
They're just like blobs or something. Squares, maybe. Mm. Flat triangles. Uh... Maybe it ran at 60 frames per second and something went really wrong during development. Rubik's Cube, you say? Oh, that's an old 3D logo. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a prototype to me. Oh, cool. Damn, now this is a prototype. You guys, this is where the pyramids came from. They made this game, and then suddenly real pyramids popped up in Egypt. No one ever talks about that. Everyone's like, oh, it's ancient aliens, or oh, it was actually people, but no. It was video games into the pyramids. Think about it. Yeah, think about it. Well, there you go. I think that's about all the content we can squeeze out of Icebreaker across four distinct applications. Uh-oh. Do you want to see what Virtual Murphy is? Yeah. That's the only other thing I want to see. Pyramids are still standing. Okay, we're going to play Virtual Murphy, and then we're going to move on to tonight's final game. Cool. Where we're going to destroy all the pyramids once and for all. The dead pyramids. Yeah, Virtual Murphy. What the hell is a Virtual Murphy? I, I assume it's a virtual version of Murphy, honey. Maybe a virtual Murphy bed. Virtual Charlie Murphy. Uh, uh, Murphy was RoboCop's real name. Well, I hope it's a RoboCop. Virtual Murphy. What if this is just, like, hardcore porn? <laughs> I, I should have screamed this. Danny! It's probably not hardcore porn. <laughs> Of a guy named Murphy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he blinks. Can you can you press the buttons? This game blows. Let me turn it up. Let's do that again. Babe, work with me on this. I'm just saying is all. Opmotaz. Blue Star. Oh no. Kill me now! Alex? Yeah? That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Moving on. I don't want to know what that was. I don't know why it was made. But that was indeed the worst thing I've ever heard. Virtual Murphy, everyone. I'm glad they did the the whole mouth movement thing like an animutation. <laughs> I just added an extra degree of uh <laughs> Okay, everyone wants the Murphy emote. Yeah, we gotta have old virtual Murphy. Oh, everyone's screaming Murphy emote. Maybe we should have Murphy uh, replace Dennis Miller in our three DO streams. Honestly, uh everyone's saying better than Dennis Miller. Yes. Yeah, he was more entertaining, Let's had a better stage Murphy. presence. Alright, we're moving on. Tonight's final game is a game called Shockwave. And we're moving into the realm of triple A because this is an electronic arts game and oh, it has wow. so much FMV. You know electronic arts sold logo used to have a pyramid in it. Yeah. Okay, everyone I have nothing to add to that, but it's true. Everyone is uh everyone's all about Murphy now. Should we have just, should we have just ended the stream on Murphy? <laughs> Maybe so, but this game has Dolby surround sound. Ooh. See, there's a pyramid. There's a pyramid before the game even starts. Mm. Start to pyramid is negative 10 seconds. So let's sit back and watch this video. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all are making clips of Murphy. Please love Murphy. <laughs> and yes, this game was later ported to PlayStation. This was a 3DO exclusive originally, though. Oh no! That's this year! Fuck! Uh, everyone enjoy this peek at our future. ...to bring you a special report. Good evening. 
Unexpected meteor showers have been reported over North America, Europe, and Asia, causing widespread damage and disruption to many communication systems. The National Weather Service reports... Control room, what is going on? And Al, what is... Al? Al! Al, you fuck up. What the hell is going on? It's all Al's fault. getting this? Affirmative. Commander Crane, unidentified flying objects approaching Earth. Plot their approach vector and sound red alert. Uh, my God. There are thousands of them. I liked her Fisher Price keyboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Norad and Edwards don't respond. The guy was giving a vigorous that. thumbs up to that filing. us somehow. Call up the pilot roster. All right. Okay, we'll get in the air now. Uh, Easton, just got in today. Mm, thank God, we'll need John. He's as good a squad leader as it gets. Who else? Mm, Chang, she's good. A risk taker, but solid. I know Alomar, good fighter. Yeah. Look him through. Hauser, small package, but she packs a big punch. Probably the best we got. Mm, Scott, he's a good shooter, but he treats everything like a game. Oh, we got the rookie. Scott's a gamer. Justin from Miramar. He's a real ace on the simulators. But in combat, who knows? Well, we stand a fighting chance with this crew. I just hope that the kid can cut it. Guess who the kid is? Virtual Murphy. It's Virtual Murphy. You're right. Thank you, Revenant. Well, God, I think it's a mistake, but the old man is sending you in. Stay cool. Play it safe and straight, people. Boomer out. That's Boomer. So there's pyramids in this, you say. I miss when AAA games would have full motion video. Whoa. Trail. Your mission is active reconnaissance over the Nile Delta. Heavy alien activity reported at Giza and Cairo. Set recon scanner for auto record. Our mission is to destroy all alien invaders in Egypt. Your main objectives are the Valley of the Kings, Giza, and Cairo. Omaha will send us a refueling drone just before we reach Giza. Yeah, it's My us versus them too. My already show alien signals among the ancient ruins on the shore. Concentrate on the aliens and avoid the structures. Here we go. The first thing they do is send us into Giza, and you know what that means. We've got to take down the sailboats. And the pyramids, of course. Take yes. that, bastard pyramids! Y'all are dead. Dead ass pyramids. I think you mean you should do other things. No. Okay. They're coming from the pyramids. We have to destroy the pyramids. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, I think they learned their lesson. Okay. Don't waste so this is shockwave. Don't waste shots on inanimate objects. The, the pyramids are totally animate. They caused all this to happen. Computer lady, get educated. <laughs> so this is a, a flight simulator, kinda. It's very straightforward. You're set on a flight path you see on the radar. It is essential that you eliminate all alien forces at this location. There's a lot of talking, a lot of video, and therefore that makes this game of interest to us. That and all the pyramids. Anyone play this? What do you think? This is supposed to be one of the standout 3DO games. I got that pyramid for you. Let's see, it's Dollar General Warhawk. Uh, let's see. Uh, Warhawk also had pyramids in it. What the hell? Now that hey, I think about it. You, you destroyed something you probably shouldn't have. Ah, uh, whatever. There won't be much left when you're done. Yeah, that's the point. I'm here to destroy all pyramids. The aliens Don't. we failed to destroy are flying in the direction of Cairo. I believe they're regrouping there for another attack. Sounds like a Cairo problem. Moscow say that Russian Air Force jets were in the air for less than a minute before being shot down by the alien fighters. It's cool I can't see my flight path when that dude is taking up the video screen. The refueling drone is waiting for us just beyond the rise. To dock with the drone, simply fly under. Alignment is ah, there we go. Back in business. Ready to destroy some more pyramids. Alright, Electric Boogaloo says lead designer of Shockwave was Michael Becker, who later became creative director for Soviet Strike and Nuclear Strike, both heavily in which both heavily involve uh, live action FMV sequences. Oh yeah, yeah. Those were but those were by the PlayStation era. And for some reason EA was still using live action FMV then. Good for them. Oh man, Frappe Fiasco actually played this game on the Pippin. There's a Pippin version? Yeah. That's amazing. 
EA thought there was a future in the Pippin. Well, it should have been. Forces are staging a last-ditch defense up ahead. Be careful. Stray shots might ignite the refineries and catch us in the blast. So you're just blowing up their oil refineries? Oh yeah. Danny. What do you think powers they the pyramids? Won't appreciate that. I'm helping. Danny, you're a dick. Oh boy, this ain't good. I can't shoot anymore. Ah, that's probably fine. So the one thing I don't like about this game is the full screen flashing when you get hit. I hate that. The other thing I don't like is there's no music. What the hell? I want some some rockin' tunes while I'm blowing up pyramids. Put on some some uh, Guns and Roses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Revenant says, uh, Dan Danny are going to destroy Hobby Lobby's entire inventory. <laughs> Gotta get to it before they do. And honestly, we failed in eliminating all forces in Giza. The survivors are again retreating in the direction of Cairo. I'm just thinking about Holiday Murphy, I'm sorry. Yeah, what is Holiday Murphy? Before the stream ends, do you want to check out Holiday Murphy? Yeah. We have to see what Holiday We gotta close is. the loop on Holiday Murphy. Okay. Besides, I think I did a good job of taking out all the pyramids. Yeah, I think they've suffered enough. Cairo, you're safe. We're helping you, Cairo! We blew up your oil refineries and your pyramids. Look, this did you see what was in those pyramids? Like, weird blob things, uh, insects with cannons on their butts, weird Haniwa figures, and that's not even the intrusion. Let me tell you what we discovered during the intrusion. Oh dear god. I think I died. Holiday well, Murphy is the free spin-off of Virtual Murphy they gave out to people who turned in the registration card. <laughs> cool. Oh, cool, I'm dead. The inhibitors are wearing off. Looks good. Look out, my inhibitors are wearing off. The patient lost <laughs> take off my pants. Danny, no! Scan show, no real brain damage, just a mild concussion. Other than that, Wildcard suffers from your garden variety bumps and bruises. <laughs> the kid was lucky. Thanks, Doctor. Alright, send him back out. What's the status on Wildcard? Wildcard is on deck in Hangar 1. I hope the kid gets it right this time. I like that it gives you FMVs after you die. It's a very American Laser Games approach. Lieutenant, this is not a drill. Your mission is active reconnaissance over the Nile Delta. Heavy alien activity reported at Giza and Cairo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we know. We're coming back. I follow a new master now, and his name is Holiday Murphy. We love Murphy. Let's close the loop on him. Let's do this. Yes! All right. Never let it be said that we don't listen to what the people say. We're ending the stream on Holiday Murphy. I didn't know who this Murphy was before the stream, but now I do. And I'm eager to see what he has for the holidays. Let's see. Retro Murphs. We are now the Murphy Pals. Murphy.exe. <laughs> the Game Guru is an official 3DO product. It just so happens it can be used to load homebrew. That's so good. I'm glad that it does, yeah. There's so much other stuff on this disc, too. Like, what are we missing out on? What's Chris Kristen's eye? Like, all of this. All right, fuck it. I'm curious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 3DO has piqued my curiosity. Ah! That's an eye. Ugh! Oh, man. Y'all like the Sledgehammer video? <laughs> this is some Peter Gabriel shit. Totally. Oh, nasty. Look, get a life with the dreamer's dream. Gimme Steam. Oh wait, that's his other song. <laughs> no, this is not. Thank God, this is not virtual Unchen Andalu. <laughs> that would have been some avant-garde shit for the 3DO. No, I wouldn't have wanted to show that. Okay, so I think it's time. This is it. Holiday Murphy. We've seen Kristen's eye. We've seen regular Murphy. What does Holiday Murphy have for us? My prediction is just Murphy with a Santa hat. 
I bet you anything that's what it is. God, I hope that's it. I'm so excited. Holiday Murphy. Holiday Murphy. Holiday Murphy. Holiday Murphy. Yeah! Yes! What's he say? What's he say? Tasty. <laughs> yes! Alex, I got a message for you. Yeah. And that message is bite me. You know what you can do, Alex? I'm huh. just saying is all. It's the magnet way. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so, uh, Holiday Murphy, uh, what do you think about pyramids? Look. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Murphy, Murphy, what do you think of the Retro Pals? Babe, work with me on this. This game blows. Yeah, basically. Murphy, uh, if you were to sum up a Retro Pal stream, how would you do that? Kill me now! Wow! We're, we're like the worst streamers ever. We are pretty bad, though, you have to admit. Murphy, what's with all that uh, weird blinking and lip smacking you're doing? Trust me on this, babe. Okay, okay. I, okay. I'm not going to question it. It's, it's okay. Uh, what other questions do we ask, Murphy? Uh, let's see. Um, chat said, tasty like unlimited breadsticks at Olive Garden. What do you think of the Olive Garden? Fine. Murphy. It's fine. fine. Okay. I agree that Olive Garden is fine. It's not terrible, but it's not super great. Uh, can you put Virtual Murphy going? This game blows at the end of the stream. <laughs> I think we should. Murphy. So, uh, you you a big Dennis Miller fan, Murphy? Go away or I'll kill you. Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, I think the stream is over. Oof, boy. This guy would get kicked off the couch at AGDQ. <laughs> Popmotaz. Yeah. You're telling me. Blue star. Wow. Look. Fine. Kill me now! Holiday Murphy, everyone. Uh, a man to suit all seasons, if there ever was one. I'm just saying is all. You tell it like it is, Murph. Tell it like it is. This game blows. And that's the end of tonight's 3DO stream. I think there's nothing else we can say that would better sum it up than what Murphy just said himself. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Murphy. Merry Christmas, 3DO. Trip Hawkins, Merry Christmas. Not Merry Christmas to Pyramids. Uh-uh. You gotta blast them, destroy them, outsmart them. Destroy all pyramids. That's what we did tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope we succeeded in our mission. I hope we, uh... Oh my god, I gotta get this off my screen. Yeah, Danny's just staring at Murphy. And I was trying to do an outro while Murphy stared at me gape-mouthed. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. So that's our 3DO Pyramid stream. We somehow managed to ring two hours out of 3DO games that feature pyramids. What did we learn? There was nothing good in them. Uh, you're clear to just blow them up. It's nothing but slime creatures and bugs with cannon butts. Mm -hmm. It's safe to just blow up the pyramids. And yeah, we did! So you're welcome. Uh, Egypt is free to build all the esports arenas it wants, mm -hmm. where once there stood pyramids. And Bass Pro Shops. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We did something good for the world tonight, I think. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed the trip. <laughs> it was, and what a trip it was. Man, Holiday Murphy is something I was not expecting. I love Holiday Murphy. My new favorite 3DO game. Yeah, I think we have our new intermission. Uh, he's going to take over duties for uh, for Dennis Miller, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so that's 3DO Pyramids. Uh, thanks to everyone who voted in our poll. You can go to patreon.com slash retropals if you want to join in our weekly polls. There we ask such... Uh, thrilling questions like girls or pyramids and this week's our patron said pyramids mm -hmm. and that's what we got 3do games all about pyramids two hours worth somehow i hope you all uh enjoyed i hope you feel that your vote was well spent virtual murphy is worth everything totally yeah i'm 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 a new man now i'm gonna go through life uh looking through the lens of holiday murphy so we're retro pals we do this sort of thing every week uh, once again, you can go to our Patreon if you want to vote on our weekly polls. That determines what we play on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. We'll be back on Friday with Mascot Friday, and this week we're due for 3D platformers. Ooh. I'm thinking... Uh, I can't narrow it down. It's either GameCube or PS1. I'll have an answer for you by Friday. We'll figure it out. And if you want to vote for what we play on Mascot Friday, you can follow us at twitter.com slash retropalshq. 
Uh, keep an eye out on Friday afternoon. We're going to post that poll, and then we're going to play some mascots, because oh, yeah. that's, that's what we do. I'm, I'm going to have to consult Murray, though. Murphy. <laughs> I'm going to have to see, see what he thinks of the shows that we've got. Uh, if he doesn't approve of the shows, we're going to have to cancel them. Sorry, that's just how it is. So I'm going to look for someone to host. Alex, wrap us up. All right. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com slash RetroPals. There we post original scripted videos, highlights of our streams, and the occasional just whatever nonsense, uh, some other things. We've got something new in the works, so hopefully y'all will like that. You can actually, uh, if you go to our Patreon, you get to see all of our original videos uh, one week early, so you consider that. Um, and yeah, please, uh, thank you all so very much again for supporting us. Thank you to everyone who donated bits, everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. We really do appreciate that, and we do appreciate your support. Danny. Murphy appreciates you. Murphy Murphy really, really does. So uh, also chat has, uh, Abby in particular, has said that Murphy may be uh, Paul Murphy. Paul Murphy? Yeah. I assume some kind of 3DO developer. I'm going to yes. have to... Yeah, there he is. There's his photo on Moby Games. Yeah. He put his face into those games. He designed levels in Icebreaker. He's a true renaissance man. Uh, we should all worship the works of Paul Murphy. I love you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Okay, so... Guess what? Today, out of nowhere, Inti Creates released a new Blaster Master game. There's a new fucking Blaster Master on Nintendo Switch. I played a, a lot of it earlier today. Uh, slight spoiler, cover your ears if you don't want to hear this. Level 2 is an extended Iki reference. That old ass Sunsoft game, the Kusoge, with, the, with uh, the Farmer's Rebellion. They straight up reference it and the whole level's about it and it's fucking great and I can't wait to play more of it. Anyway, our friend Whoop Von Whoop has got a copy of it, and she's playing it, so go look at that. Uh, consider buying it. It's only 10 bucks, and it's pretty great from what i played so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Murphy, That's what Murphy would want. Yeah, that's, that's how you should live your life from now on. What would Murphy do? What would Murphy do? Ask yourself that while you watch Blaster Master Zero Two with Whoop Von Whoop, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.